Hi, this is Paul from GlobalTradingSoftware.com and this is the first in a series of videos for using NinjaTrader Broker. So uh, we've developed um, for NinjaTrader for a long time. All of our indicators are available for NinjaTrader, but one of the things I haven't gone through is the process of opening an account, using the platform to actually trade. Uh, and one of the premises for this is that with the, the new auto trader that we've got for TradeStation, we're going to develop it for Ninja Trader. So I want a little bit of better understanding, but I also want to uh, do something different in that um, I want to look from the standpoint of view of a, a new trader. So uh, new traders typically don't have a great deal of cash to put in a trading account so they're probably going to be looking at trading forex or uh, micro futures in this case uh, i'm going to be concentrating on micro futures um and then um you know once you've bought the platform for example ninja trader the lifetime license i've just spent over just over a thousand dollars on that lifetime license so all of a sudden that money that you did have for trading you bought the license and then you probably bought some of our training indicators and you know one of the one of the things that you must do is invest in your business first trading is a business so a carpenter can't conduct his business without his tools uh, and it's the same with trading you need a good solid platform and if, if you've chosen ninja trader for your platform this will help you um, i'm going to do some comparisons uh, during these series of videos as well with other other platforms um, you know looking at trading view can link certain brokers to that platform now every platform has its benefits and has its drawbacks uh, and I want to be doing some comparisons on those as well but I want to look at it from that beginner trader you know you just probably spent a couple of thousand maybe on on education rightly or wrongly um, you know, one of the most important investments you can make as uh, as a beginner investor or as continued investment uh, for traders is the platform and the tools. So the indicators and things like that uh, that will help you uh, trade. So, you know, not everything's going to go swimmingly here. If we look at the top left, um, so I've got a live account and I put 500 euros in there. So $573. So typically, you know, I would say 80% of new traders just want to give it a go. They put a 500 or a thousand in there. Minimum on Ninja Trader is $400. And for that sort of thing, you don't want to be trading full contracts when you're trading futures. So you'll see here, I've got micro gold on the chart here and micro 60, which is a, the euro, uh, my, micro ES, micro um, the RTY M2K micro oil i'm going to be going through a lot of those uh different types of um micros to trade strategies and you'll see my winners and losers now um you know once i see a trade i'll get in i might have to start the recording you know a couple of seconds late or, or whatever but i'll try and um record or even go live on my youtube channel to um to try and do the best i can uh, as though we were um you know a new trader yes i've got 20 years experience of trading and that's the only odd bod here i'm totally new to ninja trader so the main thing is understanding how to put stars on how to put the um, the orders on and things like that so one of the first things i i've learned really is uh you need to understand you, first i've got a chart set up so i've got six screens here uh you can only see one of my screens uh on on this now on other screens, I've got a, an MES chart, the micro ES, M2K, MNQ, uh, I've got micro oil. You can see here on this bottom chart here, I've got gold and silver uh, here. One of the things I'm a little bit concerned about with the silver, for example, is uh, the data only starts when you when you switch the, the computer on. Uh, so this is an anomaly with a micro silver SIL uh, in that it doesn't load the the historical data and i've i've tried so i'm going to get in touch with um ninja trader for this uh micro gold loads loads everything up uh, and then on the right here we've got 6b which is the british pound and 6e which is the euro so great uh you know some great moves on these uh, and um i want to be trading those as well uh, and then you'll see the super dom here i've not really had much experience with this at the moment this can be uh, this can get this a little bigger here 
Um, so not had too much experience with that at the moment. One of the easiest things for me to do is use the trade tickets to put the stop limit orders on. I always put stop limit orders on um, because I want to, I want a price to move through a certain, uh, the, the price action to move through a certain price. Then I want to go, if you know what I mean. So it goes over the start line and those stop limit orders are important there. And then in the next video, I'm going to be um, showing you how I put those on with with signals. Obviously, I've got to wait for that signals to come through. Um, I'm just going to go large on this particular chart here on 6E uh, in that we have got uh, an expert uh, buy signal here on a six star, but we don't buy into resistance. If we look left, we've got some big resistance pivot here, big rejection in here. So you've got to be careful now. Obviously, if I was awake, you know, these this six star buy would, would have been better for me. But this one going into resistance, I'm not taking that trade right now. OK, um, so quick look around. Again, we've got the account thing at the top there. I'm going to keep it real. $573 I'm going to start with. That was 500 euros. That's the exchange rate. The opening of the account was relatively simple with Ninja Trader. Uh, you know, you have to send proof of address, passport, that sort of thing. I think it could have been a little stream, a bit more streamlined when it came to um, actually getting you up and running on the platform and everything. So one of the big drivers with all these brokers is, you know, you've got to fund, you've got to fund, you've got to fund your account. And to be honest, I got a little bit tired about that. Why would you want to fund your account when you can't see what's going off on the chart? What's, you know, what order tickets look like, what a demo account looks like. It, it, it's a little bit um, in your face and all brokers are the same. So there's no difference there. It's all marketing. Uh, so I funded my account and then it became a lot easier. Uh, the basic free package with Ninja Trader is very cumbersome. Uh, so, for example, all of these order tickets on the same thing here just to change and link them to different charts, for example, that's not available on the basic one. I've got the lifetime license, that's all available. The super DOM's not available. And then the chart trading isn't available as well. So, and I'm going to, on, on the chart trader here, um, down the right hand side, you can see this. I've just opened on that chart, and that's not available on the basic uh, free version as well. And I would say, not necessarily using this trade ticket on the right as much but when it comes to uh, having your trades on and seeing them on the chart and, uh, and be able to adjust that stop or the take profit is one of the most important things you want to do with ninja trader so uh, you will need the um, either the annual sort of lease or the lifetime license to be honest again and i will reiterate this purchasing that lifetime license or that annual lease is the way to go because this is your trading big business. You need the right tools for the job. And if it means you've only got a small uh, trading account to begin with, then, then that's fine. Um, you know, you might blow that 500 and put another 500 in, um, especially if you're a, a relatively new trader. You don't want to put thousands and thousands in there until you understand. And one of the most important things, I'm going to reiterate this in the next few videos, is you may have funded your account. But leave it on SIM for a while. Get used to uh, putting that stop limit order on. Um, there's a little bit of nuances with stop losses and things. You have to do this ATM strategy. It's not straightforward. Um, I'm, I've done it a couple of times now. I've made a couple of uh, templates, if you like, which puts my stop way out of the way. So once it's on the chart, I can adjust it down. There's some little things like that. The process of of putting on the trades and adjusting your stops and taking profits and all that sort of thing, that takes practice. And to do that in sim first is very, very important. So you're not using real money and losing real money by pressing the wrong button. Um, so that's where we are. I just wanted a quick sort of brief 10-minute uh, video to, to sort of let you know what I'm going to do. Uh, and in the description below on YouTube, if uh, you on, on the comments, if you want me to cover something, just let me know. And I'm going to try and make two or three videos a week uh, where I'm just concentrating on the Ninja Trader, putting on uh, trades, putting on stops, adjusting, take profits. I am going to be using the global trading software um, dot com indicators um, because they're my babies. Yeah, uh, I, there's only two on there that aren't, don't belong to me. 
everything else I've had a lot of uh, say in development wise to help retail traders so you've got to use them because they're 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 my trading strategies anyway so uh, I'm gonna be using those and we're gonna look at the plus points and the minus points and then you trade a broker platform uh, hopefully it goes swimmingly and we don't have too many issues uh, the only issue I can see at the moment so far is I can't get an order on with micro oil uh, and uh, I'll be speaking to Ninja Trader about that and also the charting and the data on the SIL, the micro silver uh, is a little bit weird in that I can't load up any of the uh, historical data. Okay, hopefully that helps. Looking forward to the next video. Have a great trading day and I'll speak to you all really soon.